three, two, one, boom. And we are back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. Unlike a Scratch Dialogue, this is a movie review. So expect tons of spoilers and um, disproportionate scoring on my end. <laughs> okay. So, uh, okay. So we checked out um, Aladdin yesterday. Yes. We're like, oh, this is probably... Well, what were your initial thoughts going into the movie? Uh, going into the movie, I thought, uh, well, I just wanted to really see what the genie CGI was like. So, so your entire, <laughs> so you went into this movie thinking, oh, I really want well, to see what we the all genie know the story. Is. We all know the story. Okay. Okay, we, true. We all kind of know the songs. Mm-hmm. Um, the whole thing was how, how well is Will Smith as genie, basically. That's what you were focusing on? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay, I was actually focusing on. Um, I was like, I wonder how it's going to be a Guy Ritchie movie. So for me, the reason so why I was, had, yeah. I was stoked to see right. this movie because I really love Guy Ritchie movies. You know, right? Um, I didn't really care about Genie. I thought it was going to be kind of corny, mm. but I was like, I wonder. Like from the commercials, it was like, okay, this looks kind of corny. You know, yeah. very very childish. But then I was like, okay, but Guy Ritchie's really good at what he does. You know, he's got, like, the gangster movies on on lockdown, so it's like, okay. Yeah, you really liked uh, King Arthur. I, I loved King Arthur. That right. was so good. So after seeing King Arthur, I was like, okay, I, I wonder if Aladdin's going to be like King Arthur. Right. Like, that gritty, you know, like, like tone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he's like a gangster, and then, yeah. like, because he, he's from the streets, right? Aladdin's from the streets, so I thought that's what you're going to get. This is not what we got. We got a Disney movie. <laughs> Nothing but... Like, we actually, got a Disney movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, in a sense, it's like uh, well, well, watching a play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what saying, I was yeah, saying, yeah, right? Yeah. It's, it's a play, but in a movie format. That's what that is. Totally, like the wide-angle shots, the long takes. Yeah. 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 Like the... Especially for, like, the song and dance numbers, they were, like, long shots. Yeah. But my initial thought was, like, not my initial, actually, not my initial thought. My, like, afterthought after watching the movie mm. was, like, then why did you hire Guy Ritchie? Like, Guy Ritchie's got a very specific tone to his films. Mm-hmm. So, like, you could have just hired anyone. Right. You know? Yeah. You could have just hired, like, a really good director. Like, you chose uh, the, the thing I like. I can't remember who said this, but, like, as an artist, you're hiring mm-hmm. me for my eyes. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like, yeah. that's that's who you should become. Like, you should strive to be so unique in your own vision that it's like, you're hiring me for my eyes. You know? Mm-hmm. Anybody can pull the trigger. I think it was Chase Jarvis. But, like, you, anybody can pull the trigger, but it's like, who can see the world the way I see it? And that's why you're hiring me. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, I did not feel that from this movie. This felt like anybody could film this movie. You could have been, like, Joe Schmo filmed this movie. Like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> but when you said, like, Guy Ritchie, it's like, you expected a Guy Ritchie film. Well, I expected one. Okay. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't know. Thoughts. Uh, did you feel well, it like you don't like Guy Ritchie movies? Do you? No, I do like Guy Ritchie movies, oh, but okay. uh, I didn't. Uh, I just expected it to be, I guess, Guy Ritchie ish. Or like, well, let's see yeah. what he does with this. So, like, the, was the bigger sell the Guy Ritchie movie or seeing the genie? You know, what I'm saying? I think like, it was because of all the controversy around the genie. I did want to see the genie, but right. So that's why. Okay. Um, and then, oh, we forgot to score it. Oh, all yeah. right, let's score it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So usually we score it, talk about it, score it again to see if we swayed each other's opinion. My score is a three. No, yeah, I I really had a hard time even wanting to give this a score, but uh, you know, like 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 I just wanted to think about like who the audience was for, right? Okay, so. Yeah, I mean, if it's for kids, they'll like it. Um, yeah, if it's all right, you know what? You're right. If it's for kids, I give this an eight. Right. If you're an avid movie goer, it's a three. If you have seen uh, Aladdin the cartoon as a kid and then watch it now, uh, and as this movie, I think it's a five. Oh, that's not bad. So we're averaging a four. Yeah. Okay, that's that's good. All right, let's continue. So uh, where were we? Uh, um, oh, whatever. So, uh, <laughs> what did you like about the movie? What did you not like about the movie? Let's go with what did you like about the movie first. Uh, it's only one thing. What? Uh, 
was Will Smith. <laughs> I, I agree. I totally, even though there was all this like Will Smith controversy over him, like, is he going to be blue and stuff? Actually, it wasn't bad. Like, so even with the whole controversy, it's the genie part was actually not that bad. Oh, no, I really love that. That saved the movie. Yeah. I, when yeah. the movie began, yeah. it was so boring. I was like, this movie sucks. <laughs> Up in, like the acting was, uh, let me just preface this. All actors are amazing. The fact that you got to do this is great. You are an awesome superstar. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of work to go into filming. This is just a critique. And I am not an actor, so um, right. take it with a grain of salt. Anyways, that being said, I was like, oh, the acting is really poor. Like, it seemed very fake. It, mm -hmm. it was like a play. Mm -hmm. You're right. Like, it was very play-like. It's like you, you didn't believe that these were the characters. You were like, you're just filling the role of Aladdin. Right. You know? And, like, it was, it was so bad up until the genie showed up as soon as the genie showed up i was like oh this is entertaining again will smith carried that movie <laughs> yeah he, he he had us crying <laughs> remember when he was like he was like we're waiting for you we're waiting for you to tap his hand yeah that was so funny and then like he's like in ten thousand years i've never been this embarrassed that was so funny too <laughs> like he is a really good like he carried that movie right right where, like, in the beginning, like, Aladdin was really awkward towards Jasmine, and it was just weird. But then when Aladdin was being awkward and the genie was there, he, like, made it acceptable that it was awkward. Right, He right. played with it, yeah. you know? Yeah. That's how I felt. So, yeah. Uh, it really was like a play. When, when they walked in was. and then he, like, she's like, oh, this is your humble abode. And then he, like, cranked that one thing, and then, like, it turned into, like, a nice... It was such a play. It was such a play. It's yeah. Such a play. It's yeah, like you would see that in a play. Yeah. And then um, their costumes too were like overly saturated. You know. Yeah. The color. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, okay, this is very like they were like using flat. It looked like a play. You're right. That's actually the perfect way to put it. It's like the vest that Aladdin had was like red and it was like very flat in color. <laughs> yeah. There was no like there was texture, but it was like you didn't adorn it with anything. It looked like a felt. It felt. Mm. It didn't even look like it had dirt on it. You know. Right. Yeah. No. No. It was no. Like clean. It was, it was so, so like, clean. It was Her teeth were so clean. Yeah. That's I was true like, too. that threw me off. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. I thought he's a poor guy. That's true. Yeah. He should have cavities and stuff. Missing. <laughs> you know. But anyways. So. Yeah. All right. So, what else do you like about it? Oh or is my that god. It? Just, just uh, a blue. Uh, okay. Uh, Did you love the, the women empowered? I mean, you know. I mean. I knew they were going that line, like, after she said that. that I, honestly, I uh, thought the genie helped out when uh, that one scene at the very end when she, like, she she broke free and then she started singing the song and then everyone started disappearing. I'm like, wow, the genie, he overcame his struggles and he's helping did. her out. I swear to God. <laughs> and, then, and then it turned out to be a dream and I was like, Wait. No, it was just, then what the hell was the point was, of that? Yeah, that was Why a, did you so sing, that's not even, Was that even... That's not even that part was, of the no, original even, no. Aladdin song. And... It just didn't make sense. I heard that song on the radio. I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe I think that was like the single for the movie. Maybe, maybe, yeah. I, I just didn't. It didn't. Yeah, that, that that part didn't make sense. Why would they disappear? Like, yeah, why would you disappear? Why? It made no sense. Yeah, that's. I mean, yeah, it's just. And then when she was like saying like, "You were the son of blah blah," and you need to like decide now. And then her father was crying with happiness. It was like, come on, bro. And she's like, I need to leave these people. I was like, wow, this is a different take. All right, so I watched Guy Ritchie's interview with uh, Joe Rogan, and he was saying that with the King Arthur, it's not about it on the surface level. It's like, okay, I'm watching a movie, but he's all about like layers, right? Like you're layering messages, and there was a lot of good positive messages in mm -hmm. this movie. They were there in the first the cartoon, but like they were there for this one as well, right? And like, they were pretty layered in this one. And I was like, oh, okay, that's what, probably why Guy Ritchie chose it. Because mm. he's like, I get to tell my motivational talk to, like, a mass generation. Right. You know? So yeah. maybe that's why he took it. I maybe. Think, you know? But, like, it was just, yeah. It didn't, it didn't um... There's a, there's a lot of messages in there. Uh, but, yeah, but that's with any Disney movie that they do, right? They they, they do have that. But... You need to, I don't know, either they picked actors that had the own ability to do both, which was singing and dancing, and in that way... I actually never seen these people before. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Uh, uh, well, these are, I think they're from the UK. I, need, I know the girl's from UK. I think I've seen her in something. Okay. I've heard another. her name before. Yeah. Naomi something? Watts? Uh, 
I don't know. Oh, right, right. <laughs> yeah, anyways, so, yeah. This is how much we do research. Uh, <laughs> but I, I didn't... Uh, I, I don't know. I What about the whole Jafar thing? I thought the whole... Oh, my God. That was so brutal. The snake staff thing didn't it work for so me. It so fake. Oh, the staff looks so fake. And then when he's like, the staff, and he grabbed it and he smashed it, I was like, oh, my, why are you slow mowing it? <laughs> oh, yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> this is so awkward. Uh, the only Guy Ritchie-ish moment I saw was when they pushed Aladdin out the window, and then he was, like, tumbling backwards in slow-mo. I was like, oh, okay. Like, I don't even think that's what happened in the movie. No. That in did the, not happen in the, in the original. original right? no, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. So then, when I saw that, I was like, "Oh, that's that felt very Guy Ritchie, him like tumbling backwards." Yeah, that did have that. Yes, that's true. That's that the was the only, only moment. I was like, "Oh, Guy, Guy Ritchie. Ritchie," and then I was like, oh, "Because never mind. that was something that was not part of I don't know, something original, I guess." <laughs> Maybe they had like a really tight leash on Guy Ritchie's like creative. I think that I think that Disney, yeah, should just pick someone else. I know. Like, I don't know why. Like, King Arthur was... Am- I loved King Arthur. Like, that was, like, a good way to put, like, an... I'm probably going to watch it again now, now that I'm thinking about it. But, like, that was a really good way to, like, put... Mm-hmm. Well, I'm really thinking about that movie now. I'm like, that was a really good movie. Um, that was a really good way to put, like, an ancient tale with a Guy Ritchie twist, where it's, like, very gangstery. Yeah. You know? I really like that about that movie. Yeah. There was no Guy Ritchie in this movie. Yeah, nothing like that. I don't know... Why? I mean, that's true. Why did they choose Guy Ritchie if, if not that? Yeah, that's all was Guy Ritchie? Ritchie. There's film. no point in choosing yeah. Guy Ritchie. Yeah. Could choose anyone else. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, Will Smith, you know, did a really good job, I would say. I think. Oh, yeah. He was awesome. Uh, that was, I really I liked liked the, I wanted to see more and more of, of just the genie antics. Yeah, true. Um, but there's so much that they can really do, right? Uh, you know what I was thinking? Like, I saw this movie, uh, Jin, D D J I N N. So, like, a genie is a jinn yeah. in those, um, in that like Arabic yeah. world. Mm-hmm. They're actually really evil. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's so, supposed to be like the, they're part of the devil. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought it was really funny when when he's like, "I just want my freedom," and then he's like, "I'll wish for your freedom, genie." And I was like. Hmm, if you wish for his freedom, he'd probably take over the world because <laughs> he has omnipotent power. All right. You know, but mm. yeah. Or maybe Jafar, who became. And when Jafar became a genie. Well, let me finish that first thought. Maybe Jafar became the jinn that we all know. <laughs> uh, that's uh, why he's like evil. Ah, uh, so it's the original right? story for. He was the original the, jinn. The jinn. <laughs> and then, um, so. When when they were making Jafar a genie, they didn't specify that. He just said, I want to be the most powerful being. And it's like, okay. What do you mean they didn't specify that? They didn't, he didn't say, I want to be a genie. No, but the, the In the reason... first movie, he said it. In the anime. Oh, he did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he said that in the animation. Okay. Like, well, like, I think I they, be they alluded. I want to be as powerful as a genie. But they alluded to that when... When Genie was introducing himself to Aladdin. What? Of the, like, who is, what's more powerful than the next? Okay, and what is? And Genie was the most powerful. Oh. So they already kind of, that's why I knew that was. Oh, good. I see. So I they see. alluded to that, right? So there was but in, a, in the animation, I'm pretty like, sure he said, I want to be a Genie. Yeah, maybe, maybe in the animation. But I think I, I think in that part, it still made sense to me. Like, I, like I knew. I thought, I thought that was kind of weird. I was like. No, I mean, like, I knew what why he said it that way. I think if he said that I want to be the genie, I think he would know the faults of a genie. Right. Oh, I see, I see. So they're trying to be clever about it. I guess. Whatever they can try. I, like, I don't know. I like how, <laughs> speaking of clever, I like his first, I like the parkour, by the way, but I liked his first, um, the first wish to get me out of here. He didn't actually rub the lamp. No. That was clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's the same thing in the other one too, right? I think so, yeah. I, I like the parkour though. When he was doing like the, the running, I was like, "This is mm-hmm. pretty. It's pretty creative." It's funny watching that. It reminded me of like watching it as a kid and being like, "Oh, anti-society." Right. You know, and then we watched The Matrix, which came out a little later during adolescence, and it was like, they were just trying to fuel you with like, think for yourself, mm-hmm. don't be like everyone else. Yeah, you yeah. Know? So this is what we grew up. In that sense, as you were saying. But it's very, like, it's very yin-yang, right? So, like, the, that was because the people of the 60s, the flower power, yeah. were the people who created these Disney movies, mm-hmm. 
right? So it's like they were like, okay, we went through so much war, so now we have the flower power, and now we're gonna like make the next generation better, and then our generation right now, like we went through it, but then the next generation after us became like very addicted to social media, and like, you know, like yeah. that's why you're getting these uh, these like. Mm-hmm. these rappers that are like uh, superficial yep. you know what I'm saying oh yeah, yeah and then I'm sure it's gonna go back to like okay we need to change this like that's just how the world works right it's like very back and forth like oh, yeah. flux and flow yin yang so a wave yeah totally yeah so I, it just reminded me like watching that again I was like oh yeah like it was very like speak for yourself think for yourself kind mm-hmm. of thing I like that okay so what didn't we like everything okay. I, I think so I think the acting was could have been better yeah but I, think I did like is, the dancing though so that's back to what we liked uh, yeah I mean there was uh, it, it's I mean there's a lot of things I didn't like but like it's hard to pick out like I can pick out easily what the stuff I did like yeah. versus when the whole movie's bad. Right, right, because it's very few and far between. Yeah. So you're like, you knew which one. But like to say, what didn't you like? It's like saying like, what did you eat for the last month? It's like, I ate so much, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah you know. <laughs> like, I get what you're saying. Like the, I mean, all the, like, the only things I liked were, yeah, with the Will Smith. I remember that with the, with the dancing thing, which was really funny. When he was like making When he was dance, moving, yeah, 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 when he was cool. making him dance. I thought that was funny. Uh, I like that Will Smith liked that girl, the handmaid. Oh, uh, yeah. It's funny, though, because, like, Tara's watching The Handmaiden's Tale, and when he said, well, the yeah, handmaid, I was like, hmm. It's uh, like a handmaid? Uh, uh, What's going on right uh, now? <laughs> right. I like that everyone wasn't, like, a model. That was kind of cool, too. Mm. Like, their, like, appearance wasn't very, like, model Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yes, yeah. Yeah. They were trying to break that stereotype as well. I mean, uh, yeah. I. What could have made this movie better? A bit. M- I don't know. I mean. I think like more Guy Ritchie take. Would more have been really Guy, cool. yeah, yeah. I think if it was a darker tone, but then if it was a darker tone, then you couldn't get the kids. So I was like, mm, toss you up. Don't have to make it so dark, though. I mean, it, just a little more realistic. Would be yeah, cool. a bit more realistic. The movements, the action, because mm, you felt like a lot of those are just set pieces. Yeah. They didn't feel like uh, a, an, real a real world. world. Yeah, true. Uh, it really did feel like a play. That's a great analogy. Yeah, yeah. That, that's exactly what we I watched. watched a play in a movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But not in a cool way. In more no, of like a, no. you just recorded this. Yeah, on a... <laughs> you know, you just like, let us watch it. It wasn't like... Yeah. Right. Um, you think Lion King's going to be good? I hope. I think so. Uh, oh, well, really bad after this one. That's true. That's true. But I think this one, I think Lion King is a little bit more different. It does have a darker tone right. because of the characters. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, and it's and it's animated too, right? So, I mean, live action slash animated, whatever it is. But right. So it's it's a whole different type of ball game. It doesn't feel like a set piece. True. Yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah. So, it's, I like... I was thinking that, like, ooh, would Lion King be bad, too? Um, but I'm still hoping it isn't. I just think that this may have been a bad choice or a bad angle that they decided mm. to take for, for Aladdin. Yeah, Because, I mean, they do a lot of different things, so maybe they tested it, uh, their waters on this and it didn't work out. Right. I, I, I mean, for me, I, I, don't, I think it'll still do well um, in the general sense because it's Aladdin. <laughs> Yeah, true. Right. So. Oh, I guess we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Any, anything else? Feels like a short one. I really feel like, like this is not much really to say. Um, I wouldn't. I think you don't really need to watch this movie. I agree. I agree. Um, Go watch a better Guy Ritchie movie. Yeah. Like that's yeah, so exactly. Your intentions was Guy Ritchie and if you're thinking that then don't go. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. Yes, yes, yes. If you're thinking that it's gonna be a Guy Ritchie movie, don't go. Yeah. But if you are expecting it to be a cheese fest. If you're in it for the song and dance, go for it. I still felt (laughs) the same emotions for uh, I can show you the world. 
So there were. Like, so there are again. exactly. Yeah. So the, 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 that's another. That's a good point too. I mean, there were iconic songs which were those. Yeah, really well done. Which is really like, well done, cool. and I really like the uh, the genie one. I guess. Yeah, true. I guess what they were trying to do for the realism was like show because she liked watching the people. Yeah. Remember, like she's like, oh, the, my people. Mm-hmm. I'm really trying to think of ways to save this. But <laughs> yeah. Uh, this, this is a hard one. It's hard. It's hard. I don't know how else to save it. I mean, these are for me. I I mean, I don't know. I really don't know what for us, or at least I don't know what to say that I would. That would constitute a higher score. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to change my score at the end of this oh, okay. the discussion. All right. Yeah. All right. So final score. I'm going to stick with the five. I'm going to give it a four. <laughs> it went up. So it's, it's four very point. rare. Okay. So it's a 4.5. All right. What was your reason for going up? Because I was like, yeah, it's not intolerable. Okay. Like a three is like it's intolerable, but it's tolerable. Yeah. You know what I mean? I it's guess, like, yeah. It wasn't like, it felt like an Aquaman, but Aquaman felt way worse than this. Okay, I thought, I, okay. I like you liked Aquaman. Aquaman better? I hated Aquaman. Sorry, I love you, Jason Momoa, though, but <laughs> um, no, I really didn't like Aquaman at all. Uh, it's the same, on the same scale, I would say, for me, yeah. I don't remember what I like, gave Aquaman. But. Watching Aquaman was like, I want to slip my wrists. Uh, wow. But... Uh. <laughs> but watching this one was like okay hey oh an iconic song I'm like okay cool all right so I guess so that's so what I'm I like okay for you know I'm like see, oh, I, I, I remember this okay. yeah oh that was a funny part like the genie part like that one section when they first entered Agrabah I was crying I was like like elbowing my sister with laughter we were uh, both uh, elbowing each other it was so funny so it's like but Aquaman didn't have any of those moments I was just like. <laughs> Please let me die. It was like so long. <laughs> right, right, right. It felt right, long, right. and why am I here? Mm. You know, I tried to sleep, but I couldn't sleep. Okay. But in this one, I was like waiting for the iconic moments, or maybe I was waiting for it to get better, and it just never did. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So final score four point five. And five. Um, wait for this for Netflix. If you have children, if you don't have children, just pass on by. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's funny. We did this movie before doing the Vice movie review. So I got to do that one. Yeah. I got to take notes on that one. I know what you're saying. But all right. Till next time. <laughs> same bad channel. Same. Don't watch this movie. Yeah. No, don't. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Till next time. Take it easy. Uh, easy peasy. <laughs> Genie. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs>